In this video, we will discuss some more options with the React navigation. One is we will discuss about the drawer navigator. Uh, in drawer navigator, we can have a drawer and uh, we can also nest the other navigator such as stack navigator. In this example, we will discuss that how we can uh, create a single drawer screen and in that drawer we actually have a stack navigator which has its own navigation sequence so we can also customize let's follow if I go back we have a back button we don't have a drawer menu over here but in the dashboard we have the drawer icon and uh, similarly uh, that's the stack navigator that is working inside the drawer navigator and also we can also have the material bottom tab navigator so for the second drawer item we have the material bottom tab navigator and in this we have uh, two components uh, just like uh, screens so we have the context although we are not displaying anything and uh, we have the history or the uh, contact history or the log that can be anything and you see a nice ripple effect and uh, the one the item or the tab which is highlighted it's in the white color and uh, the text is shown and the one which is inactive is that is of gray color and uh, when it's uh, highlighted and when I tap on this you see a ripple effect although it's not uh, displaying in a very nice way in my emulator but if I tap on this so you see that the, the color expands throughout the, the tab so that's uh, things that we will discuss in, uh, in these videos so let's see how we can do this along with react navigation options uh, such as uh, screens uh, we also have some other navigation options over here that we can explore in react navigation uh, we discussed about the stack navigator where we navigate between the screens but we also have a drawer navigator bottom tab navigator and also material bottom tab and material top navigators so uh, let's look at the uh, drawer navigator in the drawer navigator we can have a drawer and with uh, a lot of options where we can swipe uh, right and so on and we can ha have different screens just like we have uh, in stack navigator and uh, to begin with the drawer navigator we first need to install and definitely uh, React navigation dependencies must be installed before installing this uh, React uh, navigator because it says that React, naviga uh, React navigation uh, slash native must be installed and all the dependencies that are required to install the uh, navigation slash native we don't we, we need to have the installation so if we already installed the stack navigator which means these uh, these dependencies are already installed so we can move on and we uh, start uh, install the uh, drawer navigator and to install the drawer navigator we must stop the project and then we do the installation so uh, i hope it's uh, successfully installed so uh, drawer navigator has been installed and all the dependencies are installed in this uh, let's move on and uh, see some more options here so uh, to work with the drawer navigator we need to Im import uh, the uh, react navigation slash drawer and we need to create the drawer navigator and uh, when we create the drawer navigator uh, we can create a component in that component we can uh, return the drawer navigator and the uh, drawer navigator can further have uh, different drawer screens and these screens uh, will appear so let's uh, look at this that how uh, we can work around with the drawer navigator so i will just paste the copied code over here so we are now importing a drawer and create drawer navigator uh, function over here and we have my drawer 
having two screens feed and article although we don't have these screens over here uh, I can create my own screens previously we were having the stack navigator and uh, we were having different screens over here in stack navigator uh, this was our home screen and it, this was our uh, start screen and the dashboard screen so first I will clean it up a bit and uh, make different uh, screen components so that we have much more space to work with the draw navigator and the stack navigator together So uh, we have now uh, converted uh, or moved our uh, screens into separate files and uh, we have a bit uh, cleaner code over here now and uh, where we have a stack navigator and uh, currently it's managing the stack and we have a drawer navigator. Uh, so let's uh, work with the drawer navigator and uh, to uh, for the time being we pause this uh, or uh, maybe move on this stack navigator into a separate component just like uh, the drawer is a separate component and then let's see how we can work with the drawer so first look at the drawer component we have a drawer navigator and that is inside the uh, separate component we have moved all the screen into uh, separate files and uh, uh, let's uh, move on and uh, uh, let's work with the drawer so we need to have a component feed and article feed and article is not there so we can create our own drawer component over here so that that would work as a screen so i will call it uh, drawer one so and uh, i can actually copy any one of these let's suppose a home screen
so we have draw one and draw two over here and they are just displaying the text uh, now if I call this navigator uh, the the draw navigator inside this uh, navigation container because every navigator should come inside the navigation container we have a stack navigator over here and uh, along with stack navigator if I want to have a drawer a uh, draw navigator over here uh, we will have a uh, we will have a problem over here that is another navigator is already registered with this so either we have a drawer or a stack navigator so we can have a screen and inside that screen we can have a, a navigator so instead of having this over here uh, how about if I create a screen so So call it drawer and the component in this case is my drawer which is itself a navigator which is a drawer navigator and uh, inside the stack I'm having this drawer navigator and uh, instead instead of initializing route um, home I can actually just comment this out because the stack navigator would by default uh, show the screen which is the first screen over here if I save this and uh, you see that is a drawer that is a screen because that's why we see a header over here and default styling is applied because that styling is in a stack navigator so this uh, default styling has been applied automatically and uh, if I drag from left to right you see that this drawer is inside this uh, screen so we have a screen and we have a navigator draw navigator inside this uh, but normally uh, this uh, drawer navigator is available uh, uh, or the screens are actually inside this drawer navigator rather than a drawer navigator is inside this uh, screen so just to uh, see the hierarchy we need to clear this concept that uh, when we nest a navigator or uh, put a navigator inside another navigator that would become a child so in this case we have stack navigator that has a uh, screen and st screens uh, can push and come on the top of the other perhaps uh, uh, although it's not uh, according to the HCI rules but somehow in some situation if you want a, a, a navigator inside another screen we can put a stack navigator we can put a, a draw navigator inside the screen so in this case uh, this navigator is inside this but definitely we don't want this instead of having this we want that this draw should be available throughout the application and the stack navigator perhaps can be part of uh, uh, part of this uh, any element of a drawer so let's see how we can do this so I will just uh, save this again and uh, I will uh, move that so it's giving me an error of uh, route parameter because by default it was displaying the start uh, screen and the start screen actually having this uh, route parameters and it's undefined if it's launched for the first time so we are assuming that that must that screen must be launched through some parent screen or the other screen so I will move this out this uh, this stack navigator and I will create a separate component for this just like just like we have this drawer so I can call it uh, stack navigator and uh, I will create it as a separate component and in this I will just return the stack navigator so now we don't have anything and uh, we can have uh, stack navigator component over here 
so this is my own component and uh, it uh, all the stack navigator is actually inside a separate component now so this is a stack navigator and uh, I can have my drawer component over here so I choose which one I want to show I can even make the scene on the runtime uh, through the react hook uh, that if I want to display the drawer or I want to display the screens so we have now we have this drawer available throughout this application and we have a drawer 1 and we have a drawer 2 like this so if I open and we have a drawer 1 and we have a drawer 2 over here so with the emulator it's a bit difficult to open this uh, drawer so we have drawer 1 and drawer 2 and uh, you see that drawer 1 is itself is a component so how about if I change this to home and instead of having a component what about if I make or I use or nest this stack navigator component inside the first drawer item so if I make it stack navigator over here and if I save this and its name is home So we have we have home. So if I press home, so you see that the home itself is a is the stack navigator, and we have drawer. We have drawer available throughout the application now, because uh, the main component that is loaded inside the navigation container is the drawer and the drawer actually further uh, stack navigator is a child of this uh, first drawer uh, screen and this drawer 2 is a separate component that just displaying uh, some text uh, and we can have it something like this and uh, we can also show the header now so instead of this navigator I can also put or move this navigator into a separate file uh, so so this navigator initially which was a home navigator was not showing any header but now we can let's for example comment this out and uh, we want this to display a header now so this is our uh, header and uh, by default it's uh, the text alignment is in the center so I can make it uh, to the left like this and now we have a navigator over here and if I open the drawer so we have home we have drawer 2 and although drawer 2 further does not navigate anywhere else so we assume that it's just one screen and user should be able to navigate through the drawer so we have a home and home itself is a stack navigator and whenever uh, we move from the drawer let's say for example if I come to the drawer now it's a drawer component and if I get back to the home there is a bit problem with my emulator so it's hard to manage drawer we'll fix this so if I get or uh, come back to the home I'm back on the same place where I was left so, so inside the navigator is maintained as well and we have a drawer we have a drawer navigator and we can also move this navigator inside this instead of having a separate navigator but let's keep it that way and uh, let's add a button over here so that I don't need to drag it from here so I just uh, tap on a button so navigator pops on so let's do this how we can add a header button uh, on the left so let's add a button uh, on the top of uh, this stack navigator so if I press a button I need to open this navigator and uh, 
let's say for example let's uh, uh, add it with the uh, navigator itself so I will uh, just add the header left and header left should be a component itself so I will uh, add a button with the title let's say menu and uh, if I save this so we, we have a menu over here and this menu will uh, will be here for the rest of the screens as well and uh, if I I'm not making it uh, as a as a as icon it's just a react uh, button and uh, I will also when I press this I want to open the drawer so one thing is that uh, I need to pass the the navigation option to this uh, screen options so in screen options just like we have the options over here so in screen options I want to pass the navigation over here so I will send the navigation object and uh, inside this navigation object I will just close this and I can do on press so in navigation we have uh, the drawer so I can toggle the drawer so navigation dot say open drawer we have open drawer close drawer and toggle drawer so we have a menu and now it opens the drawer if I press this it will close the drawer if I go to the home go to the dashboard and we have a menu over here and here it will open this drawer let's explore the options available with the uh, drawer as well and uh, see how we can do more so before customizing the header button I want you to walk through uh, through the uh, drawer navigation options so what kind of options we have with the drawer navigator so to do this I want you to uh, see this that we have a props which is uh, by default avail available with the draw navigator component uh, and following props are uh, accepted it was an initial route just like as we have a uh, we have in stack navigator we also have some uh, screen options and uh, in screen options uh, we can we can also have the uh, uh, back uh, behavior as well so if it's in the initial route and the order and the history and so on uh, and uh, if you want to open the uh, draw by itself initially when the when the when the when it's rendered so we can make it true so open default open by default and uh, we can also choose to have the position of the drawer so by default it's on the left uh, we can choose between the left and the right and we can also have the drawer type so by default uh, it's uh, a kind of overlay on all the screen components we can also have a slide so that the screen uh, uh, slides uh, towards the right when the drawer is open uh, we can uh, do this we can also have the uh, another option which is a draw type based on that let's say for example if we want to have the draw type 
uh, comes on the front or it remain on the permanent so always open is not good if uh, we are uh, dealing with the uh, uh, mobile smartphone screens but uh, in the tablet mode where we have a uh, higher resolution uh, and the wider screen dimension actually not the resolution uh, we can choose uh, for the permanent for this we can uh, use the window dimensions and we can check that if the dimension uh, is uh, more than 700 we can choose that draw, draw type can be permanent so that so that the navigation uh, drawer is always uh, open so we also have some more options over here let's say for example uh, just keyboard dismiss mode and uh, we can also customize the drawer style let's say for example the background color and the width of the drawer as well we can change that we can also customize the content as well we can also put some of the uh, drawer content uh, which is somehow uh, does not belong with any component uh, let's say for example the logout, logout and the help in this case help actually going to launch uh, uh, a link so these are some of the options which are available with the uh, with the drawer uh, navigator uh, just like we have in stack navigator so let's try some of these so let's add some options so there are some options available with the drawer navigator so I can uh, choose the uh, let's say for example uh, open by default uh, if I make it true so by default if, uh, when the component is rendered it will be uh, open and definitely it's already rendered so that's why I cannot see the, the change on my emulator and I can also have uh, the drawer type uh, so in the draw type we have uh, some options over here which for example the permanent will uh, will be good uh, with the with the wider screen such as tablets so it will be permanently open and uh, so the slide option is uh, something that is when I tap on this so it will slide and move the screens towards the right and it, it will not overlay on the screen so and similarly we have uh, such as uh, drawer style and this this is something that is a javascript object and further has a lot of options such as uh, the background color of this uh, entire drawer let's say Uh, I think I need to re-render no I see the change over here and similarly let's say for example uh, width if I want to make the width smaller and to specific number of uh, pixels so uh, I can also do this and there are a lot of more options available with the with the with that drawer style so we can style the drawer according to our needs and you see there are a lot of options available over here so these are the options available and uh, we can choose and we can work around and uh, customize our drawer according to our needs and uh, so on there are some options available with the each item that we see in a drawer let's say for example this is a home and we have uh, similarly just like in uh, stack navigator we have options prop over here and that is definitely takes the object and the most common are let's say for example the drawer label so the the drawer name is home but i can label it a bit uh, uh, different way so let's say So let's say we call it welcome home. So I can change the label 
of uh, this and uh, let's say for example I can also choose to have the door icon as well with this and uh, these are the options that I can use with the each uh, item we see over here and this this these options are actually available with the navigator itself so entire if you want to apply the something with the entire uh, item so entire drawer so we can uh, we can apply the options so these are different options available with the navigator and there are some different options available through the options uh, uh, options prop we can see that and there are some options that we can see that let's say draw label icon swipe enabled and uh, gesture enabled or not so if uh, whether you can just to open a close the drawer so you if you disable this gesture you cannot open the drawer and these are some of the options available with the uh, with each item in the drawer over here so let's see how we can work with the icons and add some if we are working with expo cli project we need to work with the icons and uh, we need to install the expo vector icons so after the installation of expo vector icons i can use the ionicons and with the help of ionicons i can uh, use and choose the icons and i can display the icons and i can also have some uh, more props uh, with the ionicons so let's uh, install the expo ionicons in our project so first i need to stop the execution and uh, then i will install the expo vector icons So now the vector icon has been installed and now I can import see expo vector icons over here and I can import the ionicons and to work with the ionicons I can uh, add the icons in uh, our let's say for example the door let's say for example in the options I have a uh, draw, draw icon and I can choose and let's say for example for the moment I can pick up uh, this uh, icon and this is uh, this is a draw icon and uh, this draw icon is actually uh, taking the props and then uh, we can choose and work with the uh, other options so I need to start the project meanwhile uh, we can see the list of uh, icons directory and uh, we see that what kind of options of icons we have available over here So I can search uh, with the icons, let's say for example for the home icons I can, uh, we have an option of uh, ionicons like this. So iOS home, th so there are iOS styles and there are uh, material icons as well. I can make the decision uh, between the platform if it's running on the platform, uh, iOS platform. I can uh, I, I might want to have iOS uh, style home icon or otherwise I can choose the just the MD home or the home material icon like this so I can do this so the uh, that's the list and we can also add some filter let's say for example I am interested in uh, ionicons only and I can also see the all the ionicons icons over here and uh, that's not 
definitely a large list but there are a lot of icons let's say for example we have a back icons as well uh, ios style back icons and forward icons and uh, all the icons over here i can search the icons so if i want to filter out between the ionicons i can choose uh, between these and uh, let's work with this and then uh, launch the app So you see we have an icon over here so I will use the let's say and the home and we have a home icon and the color is defined over here so if I don't define the color we have a default color over here and uh, if I don't put the size so it's a default a smaller size so which means that I need to specify the size let's say for example if it's a bigger I can make it a bit smaller so normally 32 is the default uh, size that is uh, good fit and uh, I can reduce the size depending on the text size and so on and similarly I can also put the icon with the help of uh, ionicons and the other let's say for example in the menu uh, it was missing so let's uh, change the menu icon and find out let's say hamburger menu uh, we have ios style and we have md menu so i will choose let's say possible md menu over here so i will choose this ionicons and uh, in my stack navigator we had a button with the title menu and instead of this uh, in the header left I just want to have the ionic horn over here so uh, that was that was MD menu So you see we have uh, this nice icon I can increase the size a bit and now we have this menu although we can add some uh, padding over here which means that I can uh, I can actually uh, make it or wrap it somehow and uh, its event has been gone so I can add the on press so if you remember the on press event so in the on press event we were using the navigation object and uh, we were doing the open drawer you can also choose to have the toggle drawer so whenever I press the icon it will toggle so if it's open it will close and if it's close it will open so it will open the drawer and it will slide and if I tap it again it will close the drawer that's how we can add the icons and if you remember that we also had one icon over here Uh, in the start here we had another icon which was uh, the edit and similarly if you see that we have a we have a missing back icon over here so to add the missing back back icon because header left would uh, will actually override the icons uh, on the header so which means that I need to add the back icon over here as well 
and also I need to change this edit icon uh, which is on the start here screen so if I come over here and start here screen so instead of this I can use the uh, ionicons and uh, let's see if we have the edit icon update modify maybe pen so for example I want to go and see the list let's say for example uh, I can use this iOS add icon and uh, let's see what other icons we have over here and uh, maybe I make it uh, this iOS build icon and uh, similarly click So that's how we can add uh, icons in our uh, uh, application with the help of uh, with the help of expo vector icons and the ionicons and uh, these these are the icons which we can interact with and uh, uh, do the things. And the thing is that I want to add the back icon which is missing in the start screen. So if you come over here in the start screen, uh, we don't have this icon. So if I come back in the navigator, so in the navigator we have the menu, and uh, maybe if I don't or if I want this menu to appear on the on the one screen, so I will move this from uh, uh, this header left option from the from the stack navigator because with the handle stack, stack navigator it's available on all the screens and uh, in the start screen we have the header right and if I change it to header left over here like this so if you see that it's actually overriding so let's for example if I say the home you see it's overriding and uh, if I want the menu and uh, along with the menu if I want uh, this the back button so it depends upon the what kind of um, functionality I am looking for so if I let's say if I can go to the dashboard on the dashboard we have the hamburger menu on the welcome we have the hamburger menu but over here in the start screen it's not the hamburger menu because I'm overriding the header left alright so it depends that how you want this and uh, if you want uh, to have uh, two icons then definitely we need to have a component over, uh, over here with the two icons and uh, let's say for example if I say that I want to have the back button over here instead of uh, the uh, home so we don't have any back let me see the uh, back options so MD arrow back is the, the right one arrow and the MD arrow round back is also the another option so I will use this MD arrow round back so it's also giving me the sample code so I will just take the help and uh, I will use that so let's say for example I will go there and I will say that use ionicons with the back and the back black color so now we have this uh, back icon which is a bit smaller so I will make it a bit bigger
and also I need to add the on press on uh, in the on press I will actually want to go back in the navigation so I will use the navigation which actually I don't have it over here so go back so we don't have a navigation object over here so which means that if I press the back button we have error because navigation is not available so I need to pass the navigation over here navigation object and uh, then I will convert this into a function So now I can go back and I can use the navigation go back option. So if I press back it will go back and I can use this icon like this and that's how we can work with the drawer. Before we move on I just want to show you that I have made some changes. Uh, I have made the changes in the colors uh, scheme and uh, you see uh, before this hamburger icon was attached with the border but now it has a space i will explain that how i did that i also added some uh, icons over here uh, with the, the the contact i just renamed this and uh, let me show you that now uh, i have the contacts uh, component that is just uh, instead of having the drawer and it has a color uh, these icons has uh, ha having a different color and uh, also I in the start start here I found this uh, icon uh, under the font awesome so uh, I'm using font awesome now and uh, I also wrap this uh, because uh, header right and header left itself they are the components so I just wrapped uh, around the view and added some padding to the right and also I added some padding to the left with this back menu item or the icon and uh, uh, that's a small change I did in the application so let's move on and work with the uh, material bottom tab navigator uh, there are options like we can have a simple uh, bottom tab navigator as well and the uh, material bottom tab uh, navigator has this kind of effect and uh, uh, to achieve this we need to have the material bottom tab uh, navigator and we need to install uh, uh, material bottom tabs and we also need to have the react uh, native paper because uh, it uh, wraps around the bottom navigator component uh, from uh, react native paper so let's uh, install the material bottom tabs so first I need to stop the execution of the project so now it's installed successfully so let's grab a simple example so uh, we need to first import the uh, material bottom tab navigator and similarly with the door and the stack navigator it's a simplest example so I will just copy this one and I will go back up here now the size is increasing as well and I will just paste this and I will move this import over here at the top and uh, now we have uh, my tabs and it's a component having the tab dot navigator and tab is actually the object of create uh, material bottom tab navigator it has a home screen and setting screen we don't want this as a home screen 
so I will call it as uh, uh, the contact so I will have a contact screen and uh, I will have a let's say for example history or the call list uh, screen so I will have contacts and I can create another component so I will just move it a bit here later on we can move them into a separate file so just let's say call history now we have these two components in the tab navigator and definitely this tab navigator my tabs uh, is not used so I will call it uh, let's say bottom tabs so these bottom tabs are not used uh, in the navigator in the uh, in the drawer uh, instead of uh, using the contact object or the contact component over here I want to load the bottom tabs over here so that uh, it should have uh, this bottom tabs further having these screens and so on so let's see that how we can do this so I need to run this again meanwhile I can just close this So in context we have the contact and the history like this so these are the two uh, bottom tab navigators has been added over here and uh, we can let's say go back and if I go back it's uh, moving uh, and coming back on the main screen and uh, it's uh, it was at the history so uh, it's it must say the history over here so it's contact call log and these are the contacts so let's add some icons uh, and the colors with the uh, navigator so customize the tab navigator the bottom tab navigator a bit um, so if you see the documentation uh, we have several props in the tab navigator which is back behavior screen options initial route name that is the common available in all the almost all the navigators uh, the shifting is something is true by default and it is that uh, the active tab navigator wider it shows the wider uh, navigator and uh, which is the active and this one is become a bit wider and it's inactive and similarly we can have an active color and inactive color for the uh, for the uh, tab items bottom tab items and we can also have the bar style which can be applied on the navigator because navigator is the bar itself and uh, not the screens so let's say for the initial route name uh, in the active color and the inactive color and and the bar style we have the background color like this so I will just copy this
so initial I can say that that is contacts and this is the uh, background color so if I want to use uh, the same color that we have in the theme although we need to have this color in a separate file we can do this later on so that if I need to change I make the change on in one place only instead of making changes everywhere so this is the color and the uh, active color and the inactive color we have different colors over here like this so so this is the active color which I can make it like white straight instead of having a different color and uh, I can also have this uh, let's say for example uh, uh, let's say padding bottom so I want to lift a bit up So like this, I can do that and uh, I can also change the width if I want. So let's first add the icon uh, with the um, with the so active one is the white and this one is uh, the I can make it the black. So uh, there are some uh, options also available such as a uh, tab bar icon and uh, tab bar color, tab bar label and uh, so on. So these are the options uh, available with the screens and uh, we can also change the title that appear. So let's leave it uh, like this. So let's uh, see the tab bar icon, how we can add the tab bar icon and it's in the options. So with each screen we can, or which each tab, we can have the options. And in the options we have the tab bar icon let's say and again that would be the object uh, we can search the icon from the from the icons let's say for example for the contact I can use the uh, MD contact over here so I will just go and copy this one I can just copy You see that icon over here, and the icon color should be let's say for example white. Now the problem is that uh, now this icon is white, but the text is um, black. So that we can fix it later. So let's add uh, let's add uh, the uh, let's add the icon for the history as well. So let's make it search for the log on the so I I can have this. Uh, the font awesome so I can use the font awesome instead of ionicons so we can have the the history icon and we have the contact icon over here and 
let's let's explore some more options So this is also the tab bar by badge uh, to show on the tab icon can be true to show a dot uh, string or number to show some text so this is also for the badge and uh, we can have some more options over here so let's see we can how can we customize the the select effect and we want to change the color and when we, when we move on So I have made some changes in the uh, bottom tab navigator. One thing is that if I make shifting true, we will have a nice ripple effect. So it will shift the colors. And uh, for the colors, I can have uh, for each screen, I can have a different tab uh, tab bar color. And for the contact, I have this uh, color over here and uh, also i want to display that color when let's say for example it's uh, inactive it's gone and if i make it active so it's having the white color and uh, it's getting the color through the uh, color prop over here so which means that just like in the history i'm not having the color which is the active color and the active color is white and also inactive color is gray and I for the history I can pass the color object that I will receive by default and I can assign this to this uh, font ice uh, awesome uh, icon to this and it has a separate tab bar color I actually took those colors from here just to get the idea that how they should look like. So now we have uh, inactive uh, and uh, we have the active. So you see a uh, ripple effect so that it expands. Another thing is that you see this padding over here. So I can actually remove that padding from the bottom like this. So now I have this history and you see the text is gone and uh, I can also make it like this just like a triple effect and I can also see some more options if you see over here Let's say for example uh, tab bar badge so badge to show on the tab bar can be true uh, to show a dot string or number to show text so we can also have the tab bar badge So you see that small badge over there like this. So if you want to so show the badge, we can also have the tab bar badge. So let's say possible new notifications or something new, new message and something like this. So that's how we can customize and work with the uh, material bottom tabs.